Uh, blepharoplasty is a very useful operation that helps rejuvenate the area around the eyelids. Age is not so important, although most people will see aging signs after usually the 35th and 36th uh, year of their life. Uh, but people may appear at different stages of their life for this operation, as uh, the lifestyle and their DNA plays a major role. Usually people who need blepharoplasty have a relaxation of the skin, either of the upper or the lower eyelids, or both, or what we call uh, bags, which is uh, the protrusion of fat, uh, which is around our arrivals and protruding through the lower eyelids. So blepharoplastic can improve a range of problems around the eyelids, uh, for example droopy eyelids, heavy eyelids and um, tired looking eyes. It can improve and uh, tighten the skin under the eyelids, so remove bags and improve the appearance of dark circles. However, I have to stress that dark circles cannot sometimes be completely removed with surgery. They may need other treatments as well, such as the application of the right cosmetics, laser treatments, and so on. Furthermore, blepharoplasty can improve to a certain degree wrinkling around the eye and improve, combined with minor fat injection, the appearance of hollowness under the eyelids. A lot of times, if uh, the progression of changes has not been very advanced, Non-surgical methods can be very useful in improving uh, the uh, area around the eyelids, such as Botox injections for the reduction of wrinkles, fillers for the improvement of hollowness and tear-through deformity, laser treatments for the improvement of the dark circles, tightening of the skin, and also um, tightening of the skin with uh, thermos and similar methods that use energy to improve the collagen and tighten the collagen around the eyelids. So there are a lot of options and this is something that again uh, would need to be discussed during the consultation. I decide about its uh, patient a plan that is uh, customized to their needs and also to what the desires are. So a lot of people need only upper blepharoplasty, some people need lower blepharoplasty and some people need both. Uh, we also have special uh, uh, cases where a person wants to change the shape of the eyelids uh, either uh, for um, cultural reasons or just because of aesthetic reasons and um, we do perform also Asian blepharoplasty, otherwise known as double eyelid operation. So the Asian anatomy of the upper eyelid is different from the Western, the Caucasian one, and uh, we need to understand exactly what the aesthetic goals are, but during the double eyelid operation we need to create a natural looking upper eyelid crease and in that case we do take further steps in order to achieve that result. In some cases also we need to remove some of the periorbital fat in order to give more definition 